The soft rays of the morning sun streamed through the gaps in my bedroom curtains, casting a warm glow over my room. Today was my birthday, and the house felt different. There was an almost tangible sense of anticipation in the air, something that made my heart beat a little faster. I took a deep breath, savoring the moment before throwing off the covers and swinging my legs over the edge of the bed. As I made my way downstairs, the delicious aroma of freshly cooked breakfast wafted up to greet me. I smiled, my stomach rumbling in response. Happy birthday, Nate, my mom, Scarlet, called out as I entered the kitchen. She was standing by the stove, a bright smile on her face. The kitchen table was set with my favorite breakfast, pancakes, scrambled eggs, bacon, and a tall glass of freshly squeezed orange juice. There were even colorful balloons tied to the back of my chair. Thanks, Mom, I said, giving her a hug. This looks amazing. I wanted to make sure your day starts off special, she said, ruffling my hair affectionately. Sixteen is a big deal. I sat down and began to dig into the feast she had prepared. As I ate, I couldn't help but notice the small, beautifully wrapped present sitting in the middle of the table. It was covered in glossy purple paper and topped with a silver bow. My curiosity was piqued, but I focused on enjoying my breakfast first. We chatted about school, friends, and the plans for the day as I devoured the delicious food. My mom was always good at making me feel comfortable, even when I was hiding something from her. My passion for cross-dressing was a secret I had kept close, something I indulged in only when I was sure no one was around. The fear of being judged or misunderstood kept me from sharing this part of myself with anyone, even her. As I finished my meal, my eyes kept drifting back to the present. Scarlet noticed and gave me a knowing smile. Go on, open it, she said, her eyes twinkling with a mix of excitement and something else I couldn't quite identify. I think you'll like it. I picked up the box, feeling its weight in my hands. The wrapping was almost too beautiful to tear into, but my curiosity got the better of me. I carefully peeled back the paper, revealing a plain white box beneath. I lifted the lid, and what I saw inside took my breath away. Nestled in tissue paper was the most exquisite set of lingerie I had ever seen. It was delicate and beautiful, made of sheer, lacy fabric in a soft pink hue. I felt a rush of emotions, shock, confusion, excitement, all mingling together in a whirlwind. My hands trembled slightly as I lifted the pieces out of the box, feeling the silky material between my fingers. Mom, I... I started, not sure what to say or how to react. My heart was pounding in my chest, and I felt my cheeks flush with a mixture of embarrassment and joy. Scarlet reached across the table and took my hand in hers, her grip warm and reassuring. Nate, I know, she said softly, her eyes full of understanding and love. I've known for a while, and I want you to know that it's okay. You don't have to hide this part of yourself from me. Tears welled up in my eyes, and I blinked them back, not wanting to cry on my birthday. You, you knew? I whispered, my voice trembling. She nodded. I noticed little things here and there. The way you looked at certain clothes when we were out shopping. The way you seemed so happy when you thought no one was watching. I want you to be happy, Nate. I want you to be able to express yourself and feel comfortable in your own skin. I felt a wave of relief wash over me, a burden lifting from my shoulders. For so long, I had kept this secret, afraid of what might happen if anyone found out. Scarlet gave my hand another reassuring squeeze before letting go. I want to do something special for you today, Nate, she said, her voice filled with warmth. How would you feel about transforming into a beautiful girl for your birthday? Her words hung in the air, a mix of invitation and promise. My heart skipped a beat, my mind racing. The thought of fully embracing this side of myself, even for just one day, was exhilarating and terrifying all at once. I had always dreamed about it, but to actually do it, 
to become the girl I had always imagined. I wasn't sure if I was ready. I, I don't know, Mom, I stammered, my excitement battling with my nerves. What if I don't look right? What if I mess it up? Scarlet's smile was gentle and encouraging. We'll take it one step at a time, sweetheart. You don't have to worry about anything. I'll help you every step of the way. Today is about you and making you feel special. Trust me, okay? I nodded slowly, feeling a flicker of courage ignite within me. Okay, Mom, let's do it. Scarlet's eyes sparkled with delight. Great, let's get started then. Follow me. She led me upstairs to her bedroom, which she had already transformed into a makeshift salon. The large vanity was covered in an array of beauty products, brushes, and makeup palettes. A full-length mirror stood in the corner, draped with a soft pink shawl, and a comfortable chair was positioned in front of the vanity, waiting for me. Take a seat, Scarlet said, gesturing to the chair. We'll start with your hair and makeup. I sat down, my heart pounding with a mixture of anticipation and anxiety. Scarlet began by gently brushing my hair, her touch soothing and precise. She worked methodically, curling and styling each strand until my hair framed my face in soft, feminine waves. I watched in awe as my reflection slowly transformed. Next came the makeup. Scarlet's hands moved with practiced ease, applying foundation, blush, and eyeshadow with deft strokes. She explained each step as she went along, making sure I felt comfortable and involved in the process. As she applied mascara and eyeliner, I marveled at how my eyes seemed to change, becoming more expressive and captivating. When she finally stepped back, I barely recognized the girl staring back at me in the mirror. My face was radiant, my features softened and enhanced by the skillful application of makeup. I looked beautiful, truly beautiful. How do you feel? Scarlet asked, her voice filled with gentle pride. I, I feel amazing, I whispered, unable to tear my eyes away from my reflection. Is this really me? It's always been you, Scarlet said softly. Now, let's get you dressed. She handed me the lingerie set, which felt even more special now that I had seen my transformation. With a mix of excitement and nerves, I slipped into the delicate fabric. Scarlet guided me through it, ensuring everything fit perfectly. The sensation of the silky material against my skin was exhilarating, making me feel more feminine and confident. Next, she presented me with a dress she had picked out a beautiful, flowing dress that complemented the lingerie perfectly. It was light and airy, in a soft pastel shade that made me feel like I was floating. I slipped it on, feeling the fabric swish around my legs. Scarlet added the final touches, jewelry, a pair of elegant shoes, and a spritz of floral perfume. Each addition made me feel more complete, more like the girl I had always dreamed of being. All right, Scarlet said stepping back to admire her work. I think you're ready. I turned to the full-length mirror, taking in my complete transformation. The girl looking back at me was confident, beautiful, and undeniably happy. Tears of joy filled my eyes, and I quickly blinked them away, not wanting to smudge the makeup. Thank you, Mom, I said, my voice choked with emotion. I felt a lump in my throat, overwhelmed by the love and support Scarlet was giving me. She smiled and gently wiped away a tear that had escaped down my cheek. You're welcome, sweetheart. Now, I think it's only fitting that you have a name to match your beautiful new look. How about Natalie? It suits you perfectly. Natalie, I repeated, trying it out. It felt right, like slipping into a comfortable pair of shoes. I love it. Scarlet beamed. Natalie, it is then. How would you like to go out for a bit? Maybe do some shopping? It's your birthday, after all, and I think we should celebrate properly. A rush of excitement mixed with a tinge of nervousness coursed through me. The idea of going out in public as Natalie was thrilling, but also terrifying. I'm not sure, Mom. What if people notice? 
What if they can tell? Scarlet took my hands in hers, her grip firm and reassuring. Natalie, you look amazing. You are amazing. And I'll be right there with you the whole time. It'll be okay. Trust me. I took a deep breath, drawing strength from her confidence. All right, let's do it. Scarlet gave me an encouraging nod, and we made our way downstairs and out to the car. The summer sun was bright, casting a golden glow over everything. As we drove to the mall, I felt a mixture of excitement and anxiety building inside me. This was a big step, and I wasn't sure how people would react. When we arrived at the mall, Scarlet parked the car and turned to me with a reassuring smile. Ready, Natalie? I nodded, taking another deep breath. Ready. We walked through the entrance, the cool air of the mall washing over us. I felt a little self-conscious at first, hyper-aware of every glance and whisper. But Scarlet's presence beside me was comforting, and soon I began to relax, allowing myself to enjoy the experience. As we strolled through the bustling mall, I started to notice something wonderful. People weren't staring at me in a judgmental way. In fact, I caught a few guys glancing my way with admiration, their eyes lingering a moment longer than usual. It felt new and exhilarating, a validation of my transformation into Natalie. See? Scarlet whispered, leaning in close. You're doing great. We walked into a boutique filled with colorful dresses and stylish outfits. My eyes lit up as I browsed the racks, feeling a thrill with each piece I touched. Scarlet encouraged me to pick out anything I liked, and soon my arms were filled with dresses, skirts, and blouses that I couldn't wait to try on. In the fitting room, I slipped into one dress after another, each one making me feel more like the person I had always wanted to be. A knee-length floral dress made me feel elegant and poised, while a playful sundress brought out a sense of carefree joy. Scarlet helped me with zippers and adjustments, her eyes shining with pride and happiness. You look stunning, Natalie, she said as I twirled in front of the mirror, watching the fabric swirl around me. I think this one is my favorite. I smiled, feeling a warmth spread through my chest. I love it too. I feel, I feel like a new person. That's because you are, Scarlet said, giving me a hug. You're becoming the person you've always wanted to be, and I'm so proud of you. We spent hours in the mall, shopping and laughing together. Each store we visited was another step in my journey, another layer of confidence being built. I tried on shoes, picked out accessories, and even bought a few pieces of makeup to practice with at home. As the afternoon turned to evening, we headed back to the car, our arms laden with bags. I felt a sense of accomplishment and happiness that I had never felt before. Today had been a dream come true, and it was all thanks to Scarlett. Thank you for today, Mom, I said as we drove home, my voice filled with gratitude. This has been the best birthday ever. Scarlet glanced at me with a twinkle in her eye. We're not done yet, Natalie. I have one more surprise for you. My curiosity peaked. Another surprise? What is it? She grinned. You'll see. We continued driving, the car heading towards the center of town. The sun was beginning to set, casting a warm, golden light over everything. I felt a sense of anticipation building once again, wondering what my mom had planned. Soon, we pulled up in front of a chic-looking nail salon. The neon sign in the window glowed softly, inviting us inside. Scarlet parked the car and turned to me. Ready for some more pampering? My eyes lit up. Absolutely. We walked into the salon, the smell of nail polish and the gentle hum of conversation filling the air. A receptionist greeted us with a smile. Welcome, how can I help you today? Scarlet stepped forward, still holding my hand. I've got a booking for me and my daughter. Hearing her say, daughter, made my heart swell with joy. I smiled, feeling a warmth spread through me. This was another layer of validation, another step in my journey, and it felt amazing. 
The receptionist checked the appointment book and nodded. Yes, of course, right this way. We were led to a pair of plush chairs side by side where we settled in. A nail technician approached us, her tools ready. What can I do for you lovely ladies today? Scarlet looked at me, her eyes sparkling. How about matching nails? Something fun and festive for my daughter's birthday. I grinned. That sounds perfect. The nail technicians got to work, filing and shaping our nails with expert precision. As they began to apply the polish, I glanced over at my mom, who was watching me with a look of pure love and pride. The color we chose was a beautiful, shimmering pink, girly and elegant. The process of getting my nails done felt luxurious, each brush stroke making me feel more pampered and special. So, how does it feel to be Natalie today? Scarlet asked, her voice soft and full of affection. It feels incredible, I replied, watching the nail technician carefully apply a top coat. Like a dream come true. I never thought I'd have a day like this. You deserve it, she said, reaching over to squeeze my hand. I'm so proud of you for being brave and embracing who you are. This is just the beginning, Natalie. There's so much more ahead of you. I nodded, feeling a swell of emotion. Thank you for everything, Mom, for understanding and supporting me. I couldn't have done this without you. We're a team, she said with a smile. And I'll always be here for you, no matter what. The nail technicians finished up, adding a final touch of glitter to our nails. I looked at my hands, admiring the beautiful matching design. The pink polish sparkled in the salon's light, making me feel like a princess. All done, ladies, the technician said with a smile. What do you think? I held up my hands, turning them this way and that. They're perfect. Thank you. Scarlet and I stood up, admiring our matching nails. They look amazing, she said, just like you. We thanked the staff and made our way back to the car. As we drove home, I couldn't stop looking at my nails, feeling a sense of joy and contentment that was hard to describe. Today had been a whirlwind of emotions and experiences, each one more wonderful than the last. Hope you enjoyed this story, and if you're looking for a daily escape into the world of cross-dressing, subscribe now and enjoy new stories every single day.